beyond that, for those that are listening that maybe think this makes absolutely no sense, don't yeah. worry about it. <laughs> like, don't worry about it. If And, and I think that's, that's uh, the other thing is where when we go, okay, well, then, then should, you know, I remember uh, getting into the principles and then I had this shift and the very logical thing to do is read 10 more books about the principles. And <laughs> right. it just screwed, like I was now like, Again, I went towards the abstraction of the principles. I thought, right. well, if, it, if this is how good it is here, if I read 10 more books, it'll just get even better. Even but better. I didn't realize something. It was being immersed in experience, not my abstractions of life. Being immersed in this moment, whatever it brings, mm -hmm. whatever it brings is, is, is extremely, it's an extremely liberating, invigorating thing it's kind of cool sometimes me and my wife get in fights and we can get into that space and know that something in our system will dissolve that. Like, I don't have to go back to her a week later and say, do you remember when you called me, you know, you said my brother's better looking than me or whatever. I mean, whatever, <laughs> like I don't have to, whatever, you know, whatever, like it, it doesn't matter. It's like this creative energy came out and said certain things that were not cool. And all right you move on and you're good. And so, you know, but what do we, what are we taught to do when we sit down with a therapist or with somebody that, you know, some coaches, they want to work on what you have abstracted about life. How do you mm -hmm. know you're upset? Well, when you, when, when you respond to how do you know you're upset, what are you going to bring forth your abstractions? Mm -hmm. Something happened to me a week ago. So you're going to bring that up and then you're going to, you're going to try to adjust or figure that out. But, when you're back in life, all those abstractions dissolve. You know, now I see why people go to cemeteries, right? Mm -hmm. so, well, why do you go to a cemetery for? There's nobody there. There's a million people there. Mm -hmm. You know, when you go there, it's quiet and you're looking at, at, at an inscription of, some, of somebody that you loved and that name just, all of a sudden, you're there with them again. You know, I, I see, I saw, I saw an older gentleman at a, uh, speaking to his wife and he was looking at a, a rock at the cemetery from from a psychological human point of view that looks like an older gentleman talking to a rock from a spiritual mm -hmm. point of view he's talking to his wife she's not there right. and so yeah. i'm i want people to 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 speak to that part of themselves to their aliveness to their connection of life to their experience of who they already are not an abstraction or psychological point of view of themselves. That part is magic. That's magic. That's great. It's beautiful.